Anes, congratulations for being named man of the match. Well done. But it was a hard, hard fought game for you guys. Yeah, look, Uganda was always going to be in a, a very tough game. So, yeah, we came out here prepared, and I'm really grateful for everybody from Zimbabwe for the support they gave us. Look, from where we've been and managing this win, I think it has been a great, great game for us. So, if it wasn't for the team, I wouldn't have been the man of the match. So, credit to my boys there, and Uganda, one of the good contests. And where does this take you forward now that you managed to stay off relegation? Is this a rebuilding of Zimbabwe rugby? Oh, well, I think this is what we needed. We just needed to stay in the group as a new team building up. I think it's going to be great for us. So, I think this is a good step towards our 2023 campaign maybe and winning next year's gold cup so we've got a very good platform and you've been filling in uh, the shoes of hilton or the boots of hilton this is big for you very big i should say because hilton is a world class player and coming into his, to his shoes you've got to make sure you maintain or you take it a step high so getting messages from him on whatsapp telling me brother you've got to go, go do it because it's your turn i was really encouraged and thanks to him as well for the motivation Thank you very much, Ernest, and uh, once again, congratulations for being named man of the match. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Peter, congratulations on this win. A hard-fought win and a much necessary win for your team. Yeah, if you look at what um, happened on this field today, I'm really proud to be an African. Um, the, kind, the, 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 the standard of rugby that they played today here, um, wow, both sides. Uh, scramble defense, both sides, breaking the lines. I'm telling you now, if we can get more money to be pumped in African rugby, I'll tell you now, it's going to be a huge, a huge thing. Eh? You've been here since Tuesday, took your time to acclimatize, get used to the conditions, and yesterday the captain's run, your team was very relaxed. You're actually pretty confident about this result. No, 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 you can't be confident about the result before the time. You don't have uh, control over winning and losing. For me, winning and losing is the same thing, although winning is just much nicer. And um, we're going to enjoy this tonight. Um, it's not a win only, this is a survival win. Uh, we stayed in the competition and now we have so much to go build on so that we can next year be uh, accountable to, to, to get a better place on this log, you know. And Peter, who are your key players in this victory today? You had outstanding performers, but there's some who really stood out. Yeah, but that's, uh, that's difficult. <laughs> that's so difficult. The platform was laid by the forwards. You could see about the defence, how we put them on the back foot. And then when there were spaces, the back line used that ball to the, to the best of their abilities. So I th I'll give it to the whole team today. Will Peter De Villiers be with Zimbabwe in 2019? Yeah, I think so. Hope so. See what the bosses say. But um, I'm a servant of the game and I'll be where the game needs me. Thank you very much. And once again, congratulations for this victory. Thank you so much. John, a loss at home, but nevertheless, Uganda still in the top three in Africa. Yeah, look, I think uh, top three is there. But I mean, we set ourselves higher standards. I think uh, the boys are gutted. We didn't show the energy and the enthusiasm that we needed today. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, credit to Zim, they played particularly well. I thought at times um, we, we tried to beat them at their own game plan, which didn't make much sense. But, um, you know, you're going to be back. We finished third, that's what we wanted. We needed to ensure that we have three home games. The guys need to build on this now. But, I mean, it doesn't change the fact that it hurts and uh, the boys are hurting. A shocking first half from your team, especially with the changes at number 10. It didn't work out the way you intended. Yeah, look, I mean, any team that uh, concedes two yellow cards in the first half is going to be under pressure. Discipline is a drum we've beaten, and at times it's let us down this year. But, uh, you know, uh, yeah, one or two uh, silly mistakes before, just before the half and, and that. But, I mean, as a team, we own it, even though it's individuals. As, as a team, we own it, and uh, we have to fix it. And, you know, Uganda will be back. It's obviously not the result we wanted for our fans at home and that. And, uh, yeah, we have to go back to the drawing board and start over. Are you satisfied with the campaign for this year and that uh, gives you a good foundation for 2019? Yeah, look, I think I think lots of lots of good has been done, but um, it probably hasn't been the most successful campaign in what we wanted to achieve. But uh, at the end of the day, it's, it, it's been awesome working with these guys. You know, at uh, one stage they were really written off, but, uh, you know, they've showed character. They came back. They fought hard. Obviously a disappointing end to the campaign, but well done to Zim, who managed to stay in uh, uh, Africa Gold. Thank you very much, John, and uh, we wish you all the best. Thanks very much. Cheers, go well. Congratulations, Danford, for the win. This was much needed for Zimbabwe. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, it was long overdue. Uh, it's been coming, and uh, I, truly deserve, I truly believe we deserve the win uh, in this campaign. The threat of relegation hanging over the head, and now that you've managed to stave it off, how do you bring back Zimbabwe rugby? 
Uh, obviously, it's, it's, it means a lot to to our nation. Uh, we really wanted to stay in Group 1A uh, to play competitive rugby, and uh, we've managed to do that. And uh, like, like I've been saying in the previous uh, campaigns, that this team can only get better. And then the two, two, three years, I believe this will be the team to beat. Thank you very much. And uh, once again, congratulations on this much needed win. All right. Thank you very much. Cheers, man. Asman, a disappointing end to the season, but nevertheless, uh, Uganda have played well in the last three games. It's really disappointing losing this game. But all in all, we are still up in Tier 1A. At least we've not gone back down. We'll be right from next year. Zimbabwe came into this game much hungrier than Uganda. Would you say that uh, you guys were a bit complacent in uh, taking on uh, Zimbabwe, considering you've beaten them twice in a row? I won't say that we are a bit complacent. We've been um, a, little, a little mistakes, two yellow cards. Those let us down. Because playing 14 men for like 20 minutes, it's not something good. It let us down a bit. It's been a long season for some of your players, especially those who went to the World Cup in San Francisco. Now that the season is over, you guys start rebuilding again. Um, we're going to take a break. Then those guys, are, they still have more tournaments to go. But we are going to build on from there. Thank you very much, Asman, and wishing you all the best next year. Yeah, thank you, sir. We'll work a little bit more <laughs> next year. Right.